Okay, this is my review for Ubuntu's newest daily release. It is 14.04 and the code name on it is the Trusty Tahar. This is the 64-bit version. Uh, this release is long-term support release, which means that it will be supported for five years. Uh, well, in other words, it'll be supported until April of 2019. Now, if you have the 13.10 version, uh, which is what I actually am still using on my other uh, petition on this computer, is uh, only supported until July of 2014. So, um, if you're going to depend on the computer, you would want to wait until they completely release this version because this is a working release it's a daily release and there are daily updates and things changing it's sometimes unstable but so far it's been pretty good um, it still comes with all of the stuff that is normally on a regular Ubuntu of course you have unity which I like unity I I know a lot of people don't like it. Uh, I think they don't like it because of the search. Uh, if you don't configure it, when you search, it pulls up all kinds of online stuff. And I'm not interested in that. And, you know, if I want to search for something online, I'm going to open up Firefox. And I'm going to go search for it online. I don't want to do it on my computer. But you can turn that off. As you notice here, there are no online searches below here and this is you know one of the major complaints I hear from people is that you start typing something in like if you want a terminal well there is your terminal but if you had online searches it would pull up stuff that some of it's relevant some of it's not but the thing is as you can see here I've got that turned on turned off and it works great so you don't have to leave that on. In fact, I would suggest turning it off anyway. Um, of course, you have Firefox. You have the uh, LibreOffice suite. And these are all compatible with Microsoft's versions. You know, like this is pretty much like uh, Microsoft Word. And if you have a Word formatted document, it will open it. Also, down here you have the software center. And this is this is where you get all of your software. I mean, you can get games, you can get you can get anything you want from here. Ubuntu 1, that is your cloud storage. You get 5 gigabytes for free. And you can get more, but you have to pay for it. Now, some of the new features that I do like um, they haven't changed a whole lot because usually on a long-term uh, supported version they don't change a whole lot. Now, one thing that they did change that I do like is in your sound settings now it always did this before but you could go up above a hundred percent on your volume but any time that you would use your uh, keyboard volume controls and you went down below the 100%, you couldn't go back up again. Now, you have to check this. Once you check this, and it, set, it tells you it may distort sound. Now, on loud music and stuff, yes, it will distort the sound. But like this is a laptop, and you know you need a little bit more volume on these speakers. These speakers are tiny. Now... I can turn it up and down I'm using my keyboard buttons and I can go all the way up to I think it's like 150 percent and that helps tremendously with your volume especially if you have a laptop with little tiny speakers okay also uh, this does come with unity 7 which you know, a lot of people are familiar with. A lot of people don't like the look of the icons. I think they look 
fine. Uh, but the thing is, now, if you don't like the size of the icons that are on this launcher over here, you can go over to the appearance and behavior. Or let's see, look, yeah. And you can change the size of it. Which really, I wouldn't care to change the size down. You know, I mean, I don't like that look of real small icons. I want to see, you know, see what I'm choosing. I like it pretty large. You know, I have a large enough screen that I don't have any kind of trouble with, you know, this taking up my screen real estate. I've got plenty of room. Uh, also, what else I was going to show you. Now, if you notice, the actual menus uh, let me actually open up like a file okay as you see here all of your menu options by default are up in the top bar which is kind of aggravating when you're working in this window and you want to go all the way up here and you want to you know let's so say you want to save it or whatever well the problem is you know you gotta go all the way up here and do that well on this release they have gave you the choice you can put the menu in the actual title bar and that is really nice that helps out Now, one more thing with this release, if you have an Android phone and you've used Ubuntu, you've noticed that they don't have very good support of the Android system. You plug it in, sometimes you can see your files, sometimes you can't. They're not always easy to get to. Well, it supports Android very well now. Uh, that's one thing that they have been working on. and. Uh, You can also uh, download this for free. This is, you know, there's no money that has to go out. You can donate if you want to, you know, and help support the, pro the, you know, the project and development. But you can download it for free. All you have to do is go to Ubuntu.com and download the ISO file and the ISO file that you will get and it'll take a long time to download it so I'm not going to download it on the video but as you can see I have it right here now if you were to want to either burn this onto a DVD or a USB flash drive this doesn't just burn directly onto a disk like you would just just any kind of data you have to actually burn it as an image you have to burn the ISO image or it will not boot um, you just set your computer to boot you know you change the boot order which is you know it's pretty easy usually the very first screen will tell you what key to press to get into your boot order and you can choose your USB stick or the DVD that you've got it on, whatever you want. And once it boots up, you don't have to make any changes to your computer if you don't want to. Uh, you can try it out and see how you like it without actually installing it. It gives you the option of installing it or not. Now, uh, they're daily updating this and they're always improving it. And so far it works really good and uh, I'm pretty impressed with it and that's my review I uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, please rate comment and possibly subscribe and thank you for watching